Hey guys, and welcome back to more Live Fire Grilling with Lumber Capital Log Yard. Join us today as we make burgers and corn on our favorite Lone Star Grill. Let's get into the video. Bobby Flay before but he is by far my favorite backyard barbecuer. I had uh, the opportunity man it was seven or eight years ago uh, I think we've mentioned before that Terry and I homeschooled the girls and when I say Terry and I I mean my wife did. Uh, we wanted to take them into the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City. We're only about 200 miles away. It's, sort of a big deal for us at the time and we saved up a bunch of money to do so and uh, Bobby Flay has two or three restaurants in New York City and we had the opportunity to have lunch at one of his restaurants. He brings a lot to backyard barbecue. He's not just a guy that goes out with a big grill and uh, you know throws it all together and when the meat comes off and everybody's hungry and they've had a little bit to drink it all tastes really good. He really knows this stuff and it's actually he's actually the guy that got me into barbecuing many years ago. So we are going to follow two of his, loosely follow I should say, two of his recipes today. The first recipe is Bobby Flay's famous cedar plank burger and we're not going to use cedar planks. For one thing, cedar does not naturally grow in our area of Pennsylvania. So we're going to use cherry. And I've been doing this for, mm, I don't know, almost a decade. And just prior to that, my neighbor at the log yard, uh, he, I'd be up there working late hours, often there on a Saturday or so. And he'd bring me up burgers uh, just because he knew I was up there working. And they were cherry smoked burgers. And they, it just the, the flavor from the burger was just absolutely phenomenal. So I started experimenting when I saw Bobby's video on the cedar, I started experimenting with cherry. And so I came up with my own um, idea. So we make a, a plank, it's big enough to hold two burgers on. It's about five and a half by nine, approximately. Um, the burgers are six ounces, so they easily, two six ounce bur burgers sit on one. The key thing that you need to do is you need to soak the wood for a minimum of two hours. It needs to soak up as much water as possible. It's best if the wood isn't green. If you can have it dried, it's better because when you put it in the water, it soaks up the water and it's not the, the moisture of uh, green wood then that is coming onto your, your food. So we will cook the burger and then when it's time to melt the cheese, uh, we might not put cheese on all of them, but we'll put the burgers on the cherry planks and just finish them out that way so that steam from the cherry will come up through the meat and will give it that final flavor. The other thing we're going to do, our neighbor uh, just down the road, we live in a large farming area even though we're in the mountains. So in this valley there's several farms uh, in between the hills here. He came over yesterday morning and said, would you guys like some sweet corn? And we don't eat a lot of corn in our family for one reason or another, but his sweet corn is exceptional. And I knew I was going to be doing this video today. So I said, yeah, bring, bring some on over. So this is freshly picked sweet corn. And we're going to, uh, again, follow the second Bobby Flay recipe. We're going to put garlic butter on it, lime, and cotija cheese, uh, which was something we didn't think we could find. We did. And uh, so that is going to be the recipe. We are going to do the corn right on the grill. We're going to uh, boil it first, steam it, and then we're going to bring it out and we're going to leave it in the, in the corn, wrap it back up in the husk and steam, do the final steaming out here. We will have already peeled it back and put all the ingredients, including salt and pepper, of course, because it should be known that um, everything that we do, whether we mention it or not, we put a lot of salt and pepper on. 
We're not doing any prepared food, uh, so there is no additives already on anything, and we're not using any store-bought ingredients except the raw ingredients themselves. So, this is a very, a very, just fun, easy time to barbecue. It's a holiday weekend, and uh, this is just one of our favorite things to do. We wanted to share it with you. We haven't done a barbecue video here in, I hate to say it, but I think it's been three or four weeks, and it's just been so hot that it's been uh, hard to hard to sit in the heat and, and pull it off. But we're excited to be here on the holiday weekend, and uh, we're going to do this uh, barbecue, and then you can share a meal with us, and I hope uh, you'll find the recipe. I'm just going to add it in the description one way or another. And you'll see all the ingredients that we specifically used. And I don't know if she'll be able to put a link in to Bobby Flay's videos, but I'm sure he's a pretty famous guy and you'll be able to, to find, him, find him easily uh, under anything barbecue. Like I said, I think he's one of the best because he just brings the chef to the backyard and um, it's just a lot of fun watching him throw food around and have it turn out so good. Okay, we're going to get our corn going on the grill. It generally takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, we had it soaking in water. I don't know if Em can get a shot of this, but we have two fires in the grill, and in the center we have a cool spot, which is going to be important for what we're doing. Um, we have one side for the burgers, one side for the corn, and then when we get the burgers on the planks, we will move them off the fire. Of course, with the, the Lone Star Santa Maria Grill, we're able to move away from and closer to the heat at our discretion, which certainly helps out. One of the drawbacks is, is that uh, we're not able to close the grill to capture the heat. So we do have to move closer to the fire uh, at certain times. So uh, we're just gonna shake the water off the corn and we are gonna get the corn on the grill in the husk and we will let it uh you can hear it sizzling there and we will start getting it roasted go. We are ready to get the burgers on. They are six ounce burgers and we're going to get them on. We're going to let them cook for approximately three minutes on each side. You can hear that grill sizzling. We have it good and hot. In three minutes, we're turning them. Let them go for another three minutes. Then we're take them off the grill, put them on the cherry planks, and uh, finish them off that way. You can see the corn is nicely charred. I just added a few more coals. I consolidated my fire. I moved each fire over so we have a cool spot, relatively cool spot in the center so that when the burgers are getting close to being done, we can put them on the cherry, move them off the heat uh, so we have a little bit of uh, indirect fire. And then we are uh, we're put the goodies on the corn and another four or five minutes after that, we'll be ready to eat. Okay, we're gonna take the cherry planks out of the water. Like I said, they're about five inches wide, uh, maybe nine inches long. It's enough to get two burgers on. I have five planks here, so we can get two on each one. So they've been soaking for at least two hours. 
just going to put it on the grill. Uh, of course, we have an area where that is cool. And again, this is not to cook the burgers. The burgers are already cooked. This is just to add a little bit of flavor. I've actually flipped the burgers more than a couple times. I'm trying to move them into the heat, keep them heated up. So what, what will happen is these planks then will start to steam. And as they steam, they will start to add the flavor into the, into the burger. And cherry's a real fruity wood, so it tends to add a lot of flavor. Now I'm going to move these a little closer to the fire. I don't know if the camera can catch where I actually have the fire going. But I'm just going to get it there surrounding the main heat source but not directly over it. I'm going to just lower it back down. And the corn is about ready to go too. It's all steamed. We kept it in the husk. So we'll just peel that back and then add the, the garlic butter, the lime, and uh, the, the rest of the ingredients there. So just a couple more minutes. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time.